welcome back to the principles of lighting um now we in this video we'll be lighting a cylinder if you haven't watched my previous video on how to light a sphere and a cube i recommend you go back to that video and watch especially the one that i did the lighting on the sphere because i thought the topic there was broader i'm just going to um, repeat the same things that i did on the sphere on this one um, with a slight variation all right so let's get straight into it so now um, while lighting a sphere all you need to do is to make sure that there is a separation um, between the, the background and also the object and you need to create a depth so let me go ahead and enable the area light and show you what i mean so now if you look at this image you can see that there's a light in the scene but there's not much of a depth and the email overall just looks um, really dull what you want to do is to brighten up the scene by creating by adding shadows and these shadows you will be adding will create a sense of depth and uh, will give a more three-dimensional base so uh, um, what i can do now is to create the point lamp now this will help me in creating the depth <coughs> But now the problem is um, that now that I've enabled the point lamp, you can see a little bit of a shadow here. Um, it's very soft um, and it's very long. Um, it's all preference, but um, the best idea that I find is to make the shadow um, a bit um, shorter. So I can do this by just moving the area lamp. When I move it upwards, it becomes it becomes shorter. When I move it downwards, it, it becomes longer. So I'm going to move it upwards and then also move it forward to keep the shadow behind. And then more, take it up um, like this, something like this. And now I want to um make sure that now you can see a bit of a separation you can see the highlight from this side and also um the shadow a, a, a bit of a shadow at this side um and then also the drop shadow um i can make this more pronounced by adding a soft box so let me go ahead and add my soft box so now you can see um the scene it's um it's becoming better if you want you can increase the intensity of your lighting maybe let's say 1000 mm. and yeah this is um what you have you are finally done with your with lighting um a cylinder and you can use this for real objects like um bottle maybe cosmetic bottles or maybe a drink anything with a cylindrical shape um this is the bed this is the principle of how to light um, a cylinder thank you for watching this video um yeah um more content about lighting um coming in the future and uh, yeah if you like it please give me a give me a thumbs up um hope to see you in my next video peace